This is the Kenwood THD74 dual band handheld ham radio. And this is my HP laptop. And today I'm gonna to send email without a local internet connection. So first I'm gonna explain a little bit about WinLink. That's the software I'm gonna to use to actually send and receive email using my ham radio. Then I'm gonna do it. Then I'm gonna discuss the practical applications of ham radio email. I'm set up here at Friendship Park, north of Atlanta. It's a nice park. I'm in a pavilion at a picnic table, but it's hot and muggy. I have my antenna set up on the roof of the pavilion, magnetically attached. It's a small two meter, 70 centimeter mobile radio. It's meant for cars, but I've attached it to the roof of this pavilion. I don't know about you, but I really don't like email all that much. I get way too much of it. It's either spam or work. Nothing really, you know, gets me excited. Well, there was that time the Nigerian prince had a bunch of money I could have gotten. Oh well. Even though I dislike email, what do I choose to do with my free time on the weekend? Obviously come to the park and send and receive email. So what do you need to send email via ham radio? Well, first of all, you need a license because you're transmitting on the amateur band frequencies. In this case, I was on two meters, so you just need a technician's license, the lowest class and easiest to get of amateur radio licenses. Then you need a radio, obviously, and you need something called a TNC, a terminal node controller. It's like a modem. This radio has a TNC built in. There's ways you can do it with software and you can buy a specific TNC to hook up to your radio. And then you need some type of connection to your computer. In this case, I was using Bluetooth. And finally, you need a computer, phone, or tablet running a WinLink client. In this case, I'm running WinLink Express. WinLink is a software program you can install on your computer. It's also a network of ham radio volunteer operators that set up servers all around the world so that you can contact them using ham radio, send and receive email. The most interesting part about it is it can operate without the internet, but most of the servers are connected to the internet when available. I'm not going to go through the entire setup of WinLink, but you can get it installed and if you're a ham radio operator with a valid license, you can get an account. As you can see here, it looks like a fairly normal email client and you can see that I have one message in the outbox ready for a connection to send. So I found a nearby server and it's a VHF server and they operate on 145.750 frequency. You can see I have my radio manually tuned to that frequency. What I'll do is I'll make the connection. You're going to hear the packets go back and forth. It's 1200 baud. My first modem was only 300 baud, so this is four times faster than that, but much slower than your typical internet connection. You can hear the packets going back and forth from the server. Actually, those are the packets coming from the server over the air. You can see my radio transmitting. I'm receiving, should be receiving one email that I sent from my phone, and I'm sending the one email that was in my outbox. Oh, it disconnected. Let me try again. So I'm trying again. It didn't send or receive an email on that last connection. I don't know what happened. Ham radio. Sent the message. Message sent equals one. Message received equals zero. Let's take a look. Well, the good news is it sent the email that time and I actually received the email that I sent earlier. Let's take a look on the phone. It 
So what's the practical use of sending email via ham radio? Well, in times of disaster, when you don't have power or internet, you could still get messages out to your friends and family. Let them know you're okay or let the authorities know that you need help. Now, using this setup, I'm only to, able to connect to servers maybe 6, 10, 12 miles away. Maybe more if I was up on a mountaintop. But now if I connect it to my HF radio, now I can communicate with servers 5, 6, 700 miles away. Maybe ones that have power and internet and able to transmit my message. But Winlink is set up to operate even when there is no internet. So it's a really practical skill to have in case of an emergency, being able to send and receive emails over ham radio. Thanks for watching.